How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Survival Series. So we are in the middle of the trip. Well, we're actually right at the beginning of a trip. And we just stopped here to basically grab a, a quick splash of fuel. Literally a splash of fuel. It was like $38. Um, but basically we just stopped here because we ran out of time. As simple as that. Um, anyway, we are going to get going. As soon as I can turn this thing around. Uh, can we go out there? Yeah, we probably could, but I don't really want it. Let's go out this way. Keep right. Alrighty. Any cars coming? Doesn't look like it. Any cars coming from that way? Can't see a damn thing. But we're gonna say... Probably no cars, hopefully. Looking good. Alright. On the road again. Try and get up to 55. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's... Keep right. There's too much on, on this route, really. We'll check the map again in a little bit. Uh, just want to get some miles under the belt. Because we've still got 493 miles to go. So we really need to get moving. At least this load is a hell of a lot lighter than our previous load. Our previous one was 54 tons. This one is only 14 tons. 14.3 tons. And this load is. So all good there. The jump ups are a hell of a lot easier. Uh, with this amount of weight. And uh, we can get up to the speed limits a hell of a lot easier. Why is there a truck standing next to the road? That is weird. Did you break down, buddy? Hey. How's it going? I think he's having a nap. Talking about a nap, we need to take a nap in two and a half hours time. And I know that there's a left turn coming up at a T-junction. And just past that T-junction, we actually, we're supposed to turn left, but we're going to go straight because just past that T-junction is the only rest area for a long, long time. And if we don't sleep, we're probably going to get fined. And I don't want to get fined because this is a pretty hefty job. And we're only getting paid $1,989 for this job. So, um, yeah. I, I would like to hold on to as much of that money as, as I can. Ooh, little river. Um, yeah, so I don't want to be spending any money on fines that I, that I really don't need to. So here we go. The, this is the left-hand turn. Which we're not going to take. We're going to go straight past it. And we'll come back to it. Keep left. Let's see if we then can time these traffic left. lights. There we go. Put your foot down. And speed limit. Don't put your foot down. Left. Yeah, I know you're tired, buddy. Literally like five minutes you can have a rest. Which is kind of weird, because it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And now we're going to have a sleep. And uh, then we're going to wake up in the middle of the night. And we're going to do most of this journey in the dark. Uh, do we need to drive? I don't know. Can we go here? Can we go here? I don't want to mess up my truck. Yeah, it seems okay. we just park up? Seems legit. Okay then. We'll park here. Beautiful. Handbrake on. Lights off. Engine off. Look at that beautiful thing. And let's have a sleep. Good night. Alright. Good morning. It is one o'clock in the morning. It is pitch black. 
And, uh, yeah, I can't see a damn thing. Like, I actually can't see anything. I'm guessing where this trailer is. Alright. Let's get going. Oh, uh, we want to turn left, don't we? There we go. Right, um, we don't have a lot of time again to get this thing delivered. So we're definitely not going to take right. any unnecessary detours. We're just going to keep going as quick as we possibly can. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map again. Uh, we're going down through Price again. We've been there. We've got unlockables there, but we don't have the time to actually get them. And um, all the way down through Moab and down to um, Holbrook, basically. That is a straight shot. My goodness. Um, so at least this part of the route is kind of exactly what we did when we came up from Albuquerque, I think it was. So yeah, we're all good. There's not not much um, on this route. Well, I mean in terms of collectibles, there's actually only one and we can't get it because it's going to take a long, long time to get it. And we don't have that much time. We're ready on... Because we slept, um, we're kind of on a close time frame here. But at least it looks like we're not going through too many uh, towns or anything like that. So we should, as soon as we actually get going properly, which I think... We basically will, as soon as we get out of this residential zone and we can get up to a bit of speed, um, I think we should start making back a little bit of time, possibly. Which would be ideal. Absolutely ideal. And the good thing is we know this road has a lot of jump ups um, or hills, in other words. And um, at least we don't have a massively heavy trailer like we did coming here so we should be okay we should be able to carry a lot of the momentum over the hills and not get slowed down too much which would be absolutely freaking perfect alrighty going for 11 and uh, let the revs build a little bit more okay go Beautiful. Yeah, if it's still picking up speed in 11th gear on this uphill, we're, we're going to be fine. None of the dramas that we had on the previous trip. That previous trip was quite a long one for such a big load, but it was very, very fun. And we never had any incidents. No fines, no damage, no nothing. Which is great. That's exactly how we want to keep all of this. Want to keep it as smooth as we possibly can. Oh, we're over the speed limit a little bit. Slow down to 55. I don't know why we've got a 55 speed limit here. I would think it's probably about 65. That's okay. It should pick up in a little bit. We're not in California, are we? I don't think so. Because Cali is all 55. Oh, 40. Dang it. Uh, yeah, California is all 55 miles an hour. Everywhere on the, like, interstates, and it really, really sucks. I think we're slowing down again. 20, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, of course, this is where we sort of stopped. 
I don't know if this is like a substation or what exactly is going on here. I think it's like a substation. Um, or a mine or something. There's a substation back there, but I think it might be a substation for the mine. Um, so this definitely looks to be like a mine or a quarry or something like that. Um, but we actually stopped here right on the left hand side. On the previous episode, I think it was. That's where we started the previous episode. And I remember complaining about the 20 mile an hour speed limit there as well. At least now it's up to 30. Left turn ahead. Turn left. Go, dude. Wide. Anyways. It is what it is. I was going to say, why are you stopping for about 20 minutes deciding whether you want to turn or not? But, hey ho. It is what it is. Alright, Waybridge, are we going to get called in? Yes. Of course we are. We should be 44 tons somewhere around there. I overshot. I think that's the first time I ever overshot. Um, oh, 30 tons. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was that was some gear crunching right there. I don't do that often in this truck, really. Okay, um, so 30 tons. I'm not sure if that's correct. Yeah, actually it could be. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is pretty much accurate. Anyway, the whole point of that is actually just to make sure there's no damage or anything on your truck. Um, well, in the game at least. It, the weight is kind of pointless. It's basically purely on the condition of your truck is what that's about all right let's get up to 60 try and make up a little bit of time here we already lost over an hour and this is not good at all we actually need to make up quite a bit of time right now Because uh, we are scheduled to deliver Friday just after 3, half past 3. And at the moment, we're estimated to arrive at 11 o'clock. So we don't have a huge amount of time at all. That 11 o'clock can become 3 o'clock real freaking quick. If we have one or two too many stops, uh, yeah, we're done for. At least we don't have to stop for fuel again. Because we did top up, which is great. Oh, jeez, what's going on? Oh, no, detour. Can't, really can't afford a detour right now. Dang it. How is this even going to work? Where am I going? Wait, what? This is the only route. There's no other route. Wait. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to have to... Okay, there's cars going left here. Will that help us? Oh yeah, it will actually. Okay, we're, we're going to make a really, really strange turn here. 
Which, we don't have another choice, because we're going to just end up back on the exact same road if we don't do this. This is an odd one. I, I don't know if that is the idea, but I... Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing else you can really do, otherwise we're just going to loop and come back to the exact same place. On the exact same road, at the exact same detour. So, uh, yeah, that, that worked. I had something... I wouldn't say similar to that, but something quite unique um, a few months ago. Well, I was driving on the highway. This is IRL. Um, driving on the highway, and there was, I think it was an accident involved, involving a tanker truck, if I remember correctly. And they had to close the highway, and it was a four-lane highway. And we all basically had to turn around and drive backwards on the highway, which is kind of interesting because no one told the other people coming down. And towards the scene of the accident. Oh, wow. I need to slow down a little bit. Um, yeah, no one actually told, like, like stopped traffic to have, like, a clear path back to a slipway that we could go on backwards and then take sort of a, a detour around the accident. Um, so, yeah, we were driving the opposite way on the highway with cars coming towards us which was kind of interesting um, and weirdly it was kind of fun in a, in a very strange and nerve-wracking way obviously we were driving slowly to I mean you're not gonna be barreling down the highway at 60 miles an hour going the wrong direction where no one actually told the other cars that listen that you, you can't go there but yeah that was pretty cool I kind of enjoy that Ooh, strangely uh, right it is starting to well we can start to see again uh, can we do no 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 I was gonna go for an overtaking maneuver but there's a turn coming up I thought we were heading straight through I was a bit close um, but it is five o'clock in the morning it's quite misty actually actually very misty but at least we can kind of see again which is great. That's always good, if you can see. Keep right. Okay. Back up to speed. Oh, 80 miles an hour. I don't think it's going to last very long, but we're allowed to do 80. 80 is fantastic. Oh, look at that sunrise coming over the hill. That is beautiful. I really do like the sunrise in this game. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is actually really, really freaking nice. Like, really nice. Look at that. Beautiful over the desert. Look at that! Oh my, oh my goodness, that is, that is so nice. I would, I would love to see that in real life. Keep right. Oh, it's then take the so freaking right. good. Take the exit right. Unfortunately, we're turning away from it now, so we're only going to be able to see that in our mirrors. But that is amazing. Turn right. I love sunrises. Sunrises are amazing. Unfortunately, I don't see too many of them. Because um, I'm not really an early riser. I used to be. But... Then I kind of... I don't know. I kind of went completely the opposite way, where... Because usually I would go to bed quite early and then get up early. So you see the sunrise and 
Oh, that is great. Uh, yeah, you would sort of be up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, at one stage, I think I was getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I could get a lot of work done before anyone else even woke up. Uh, which was great. I actually got a ton of things done every day before... Literally before everyone got out of bed, I had half of my day's work done. Uh, just because you can get so much done if you've got absolutely zero distractions. Everyone's sleeping. Um, so, that was great. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. But um, then things just kind of changed. With the whole um, YouTube and everything, you tend to work a little bit later. Especially when you're live streaming and things like that. Um, you tend to work a lot later. At least to like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, you'll be... Go straight. Drop down to 45. Um, yeah, so you tend to to work a lot later. So you get to bed later and then um, you get up later. So I, I usually got up at like 9-ish, 9, 10-ish. Uh, depending on how late I went to bed. Uh, 35 now. So yeah, but lately I've been trying to get back into a routine where I try and get to bed a little bit earlier um, and try and get up at like 7 so I, I think my body clock has kind of adapted because I've been doing it for a while now uh, down to 30 through Moab and uh, there's a grill there I, I could actually go for a grill right now uh, but yeah so I'm, my body clock's kind of changing gradually uh, since I started started trying to sort of get into a better routine and yeah I think my body clock sort of set at probably about seven in the morning right now which is which is good I'm I'm quite happy with that it's not early enough to catch some really nice sunrises because we do get some really really nice sunrises um, so it's not early enough to catch those but um, it's at least it's early and we go for a for a walk my wife and I go for a walk um, every kind of every morning I wouldn't yeah basically every weekday morning we go for a walk before we actually start getting things done but uh, yeah but weekends we don't weekends we don't go for a walk because well it's weekend and it kind of feels like work sometimes uh, going for a walk uh, it's just to get a bit of exercise in nothing major okay this guy is gonna dive in front of me I think oh no he's gonna give way I hope he's gonna freaking give way yeah um, but yeah so we try and go for a walk every morning um, at least Monday to Friday we try and go for a walk but um, yeah it is what it is. We don't, unfortunately, not early enough, like I said, to catch the, the nice sunrises. But we're getting into a good routine. And I might, when I'm getting really comfortable with this routine, I might make it a little bit earlier again and try and, like, gain another hour. Uh, he's turning off, I think. Kind of messed up my gearing there. Keep right. I thought he was turning off, but he was actually just changing lanes. I don't know why the AI does that. When there's a lane change coming up, they slam on their brakes and then change lane and then speed up again. And you tend to run into the back of them or nearly run into the back of them quite often when they do that. It's really, really annoying, especially if you're doing like 75 and a car suddenly in front of you decides he's going to change lane because you're on a three lane highway and he can sort of choose any lane he wants and he decides to change lane and he just slams on the brakes and drops down to like 20 miles an hour um yeah that generally doesn't go too well when they do that all right so we're not actually gaining any time right now but we're kind of not losing time either which is good really good craft Heinz um, like beer 
I would think, what the hell are you doing, mate? Why would he... Oh, my goodness. I need to get past this guy because he's just really, really frustrating. Slamming on the brakes constantly. And every time it messes up my speed and we're losing time and we're going to be late and it's really freaking annoying. But hey, it is what it is. We'll try and get past him after these little bends here where he's probably going to slam on his brakes again. Because the AI don't have any physics, that's why. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Big accident. Good job. Okay, they're not going to move. So we're going to have to go around them. Because they will actually not move for a while. Yeah. Hopefully we don't actually hit anything. Good job, dude. Told you you were driving like an idiot, but... There you go. That's the result. Anyway, so that is a, obviously a bit of a, a illegal overtake. But um, if we don't do that, we'll literally sit there the entire day. Because they, they won't move. So it's fine. It's no big deal. No harm, no foul. Nice tractor. Very interesting paint job on that tractor. Was that a police officer? I think it was. Cool car, though. Oh. It's, I thought it was 35. It's 30. Here we go. 45. Alrighty. Getting back up to speed. We can go up to 65 now. This is great. We did lose about 15 minutes on that accident, but I think we're still okay. I think we'll be fine. It's going to be close, like the previous one. It's going to be close, um, but I think we'll be kind of okay. I think we'll be fine. We better be fine. Oh, this doesn't feel comfortable. Let's slow down a little bit. This really doesn't feel comfortable. There we go. Oh, there's that nice little river. Oh, are you guys fishing? There's some guys next to the river there. What's the difference between a river and a lake? And a dam? I think a dam and a... And a lake is kind of the same thing. I don't know. Because you get a river, you get a creek, you get a dam, you get a pond, and you get a lake. But did I say lake twice? I don't know. A river, a creek, a dam, a lake, and a pond. And there's probably a few more terms for it. I don't know, what's the difference between all of those? I don't know. I don't know, probably, someone will probably know. Um, if you know what the difference is between all of those sort of water sources, then um, let me know in the comments below. I'm actually really interested to know. Keep right. It's like the difference between like wood and timber and lumber and all of that. What the hell is the difference between all of those? Thirty-five. We're actually going through a lot more of these small little towns than what I thought we would. Which is slightly problematic. But not too bad. Oh, jeez, don't do that, dude. The hell was that? 
There's a police officer and he's trying to wreck me. Nice pickup. Very nice. Was he taking photos of it? I'm pretty sure he was standing there taking photos of it. I don't blame him. It's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Left turn ahead. Turn left. That was bad timing. Just go, dude. Why the hell are you stopping, you idiot? The AI is unbelievable in this game. Okay, here we go. Try and get back up to speed again. We haven't been able to do any, like, solid running just yet. It's sort of go and stop and go and stop and go and stop. And I just need to get some, some good solid miles underneath my belt right now. Talking about good solid miles, the truck is on two and a half thousand miles. Well, very close to it. Another 25 miles and we'll be on two and a half thousand. That is a nice river. Or lake. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. That looks like a... Was that an F-150? I think it was. Pretty cool. All right, let's try and hit 65 here. And then we're probably going to hit another town again. Right turn ahead. Yep. Slow down ahead. Keep the momentum going. I think I spoke about that before where with like stop signs. I don't really Keep left. I don't stop at them and often in the game. At red lights I do. I always do at red lights, but with the stop signs turn I left. generally use them as um, like yield signs. And I've never got fined for it in the game, so it just helps to keep the momentum up a little bit. I mean, if, there, if there's cars coming, or if it's blind, then obviously I'll stop. Um, but if I can really see that nothing's coming for miles on both sides, then I'll just go. But, yeah, obviously when it's... When you can't see if anyone's coming, then you stop. Or if someone is coming, then you stop. Uh, but other than that, I, I try and keep just keep the momentum going a little bit. All right, we've got another 100 and, uh, 136 miles to go. Um, but I think, looking at the time, and this is a this is a very odd place to stop, um, but we're going to have to pull over here. Because um, I think we are basically just about out of time. I wanted to try and do this delivery today, but unfortunately not. But we did kind of predict that. Um, but anyway, that is where we are at the moment. We're 131 miles away from our destination um, with our pesticide. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. We're going to carry this on in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. And I will see you all next time.